How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and it is official. It seems like the JDM car will be here around Sunday if everything goes well. I'm talking to the people right now. I paid them and everything so it's all good to go and hopefully you will be seeing the reveal sometime next week. Today on the other hand we're looking at people that are probably having a little bit of trouble getting rid of the cars that they don't want anymore. No one seems to want to buy these at least for the most part. I think one of them did sell somehow and we'll see how the hell this guy sold this car because it is a piece of work i don't want to say piece of shit because it's not my car but you guys know what i'm getting at anyways we got ricer cars on craigslist let's go ahead and take a look this is the first one and this one somehow magically sold 2013 honda accord ex-l coupe two-door he was asking $79.50, which I'm not sure is a great price or a ship price, but let's take a look at what he's got. So, well, this first picture, I mean, he's really flexing the car. He's letting us know the type of character he is. He's a little bit crazy. He's a little bit wild. He's got Joker on the hood of his car. This car is designed for chaos. It's designed to stand out, to not fit in with the crowd. I like that. He has a toe strap bolted to his lip. Whoa what you're gonna rip the whole front end off your car if you're trying to do a quick disconnect front bumper i mean i guess you could just yank on that shit really hard and you'll probably rip it off but uh, i mean all right are those canards or whiskers what is going on with this car we obviously see the lambo doors that's like the least ricey thing on this car somehow we have a big amazon wing on the back and a little ducktail with a roof spoiler this guy's got the three wing combo Triple the speed needs triple the downforce. I mean, it is a Honda after all these things do gap exotics. We all know that from factory. <laughs> we got a, a Jordan <laughs> logo on the back with why? What is going on? Uh, you have a Batman logo, a Jordan logo, a star, which probably represents something I don't know, and a chick's ass. Nice. I feel like he owned this car as he went through a bunch of phases. He probably at one point was really into basketball, and then he got really into Batman, and now he's into women and you just realized wow i can't really pick up any women with this car because it is a piece of shit underneath the hood all of his mods consist of an intake i wouldn't even call it a cold air intake it's just an intake the lambo doors though i mean that is one thing ladies love to see probably not on a honda but they do love to see lambo doors at least he's safe though he's got protection so that's good obviously i'm not talking about condoms because you're not going to need any with this car because you ain't going to get any and to finish it all off, we have a black fuel door with the Honda badge on it. That's another 10 horsepower, so great to see a highly modified car being up for sale. And someone snagged it before I could. Damn, I'm a bit jealous. Anyways, for $8,000, I'm curious to see what the next owner tries to sell for. Next car, a 2008 Mustang GT. He's asking $10,500. That's a pretty high price. It either needs to be low mileage or it has to have some really decent mods. Let's take a look at what he's got. So, right off the bat, big carbon fiber hood. Looks like it's got an air ram of some sort. I don't know if it's functional, but based on it being carbon fiber, I would assume it is. Hood latches, you do need that for running an aftermarket fiberglass or carbon fiber hood. The booty, he's got some uh, S550 style taillights, a big rear ducktail. Wheel setup and fitment looks pretty decent. They look similar to my wheels, just less concave. Oh, Another toe strap boy. Nice. And you're not a race car driver if you don't offset your license plate. You know that, right? Like, if you put it in the center, you're a nerd. If you offset it, automatically faster. We all know that. Looks like he has Halo style headlights too, which is pretty cool, I guess. I mean, it looks like, for the most part, he's got a pretty decent cosmetically modified car. He didn't overkill it, but I'm really wondering what he's got underneath the hood. He doesn't provide too many photos, and he doesn't have anything of the interior or underneath the hood, so we're just going to have to go down to the description and read it. Let's see what he's got. 08 Mustang GT. Autom <gasps> <gasps> automatic transmission. I'm not one to diss on automatics because automatics nowadays will just kick manual's asses, but an 08 automatic. I mean, we're not talking about anything super crazy here. Salvage title 2. You're trying to get $11,000. For your salvage title piece of shit Mustang, apparently 57,000 original miles, which is low, but uh, I don't know. That's 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 a little weird, especially if it's a salvage. Smogged and ready to go. Off-road H-pipe and Borla attack mufflers, JLT Series 3 intake, Bama Rev X tuner, SR coils, 20-inch rims, carbon blah, blah, blah. So it looks like his mods consist of a cold air intake and exhaust. Maybe a little shitty email tune and some wheels. Support the build, guys. It's not the worst thing ever. It's for sure better than that Honda that we just saw. And I do think it's a solid start to a build, but I just don't see it 
catching that much with the salvage title, I can't see it getting that much. I, I think this is an $8,000 car, if that. I mean, the salvage title just really hurts. I mean, it's a Mustang. They don't hold that much value. I'd be surprised if my car got like $25,000. And my car has probably quadruple the horsepower of this shit. So, I don't know. Anyways, let's move on to the next car. 1994 Acura Integra. Okay, we're back to looking at Acuras. This one on the exterior looks really nice. I, I, I have nothing against Acuras. I think they're pretty decent cars. But I have something against this one. This one looks like it belongs in a McDonald's Happy Meal. That ain't a good thing. This shit looks straight up like a Hot Wheel. And also not a good thing. This right here is a Fast and the Furious reject. This ain't this ain't nothing good, okay? This guy saw all the Integras in the movies and was like, Dude, oh dude, I can make my Integra look like that and it'll be so sick, I'll get all the ladies. Well, it turns out you're not getting all the ladies and you're not going to get any money for this car either. Especially when you be driving an automatic Integra, come on. Come on, no automatics. At least no old automatics. If you're driving a stock car that looks like this, that shit better be a manual transmission. It's okay guys, he's got all the wire looms, he's got all the pool noodles underneath there. Look at him, just running them on every single vacuum line out there, every single hose, every- well, You're not even- Why? Why? Can someone explain this? Can a ricer in the comments please explain what these wire looms are doing? They ain't doing shit. It looks cleaner, Drew. This doesn't look cleaner! This looks like an Italian person's dinner. I feel like I'm about to eat some pasta rajul. I don't think that's a thing, I just made it up. It sounded Italian. I'm not Italian, I'm white. Damn, I want pasta now though. I am I am getting a little bit hungry at this. I mean, some fettuccine alfredo right now it does sound pretty good. It looks like he's a short throw dipstick, which is nice. Uh, that's pretty cool. It'll add about five horsepower. It's less resistance for the oil, you know. Car seat in the back. All right, I feel bad for that kid. That's gonna have some embarrassing issues when he grows up, when he realizes what he had to be chauffeured around in. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't know, this is a, a, a top contender for one of the worst ricers of the episode for sure. This one and that Honda Accord are neck and neck. I think the Honda Accord is a little bit worse because that's a modern day ricer. This is a 2002 ricer. So, eh, I still think the Honda Accord is worse. Next car, 1998 Honda Civic. $10,000? Oh my god, does this guy not know what he has? This is a Honda Civic. This ain't, a, this ain't that Mustang that we were looking at earlier. Oh, man, what are you doing with this? Let's take a look. So, I mean, look at that front end. Looks, uh, I don't know, it looks pretty basic. It looks like he has a big oil cooler or something out of the front. I don't know, it looks kind of stupid to me, right? Uh, stupid looking headlights, uh, stupid looking wheels, uh, stupid everything. I mean, it's a Honda. I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, look at that. I mean, manual transmission, right-hand drive. You know what he probably did to make it look right-hand drive? He probably just flipped the photo. I mean, let's be realistic here. We all know that Hondas are left-hand drive. Uh, let's see, yeah, those chameleon headlights, it's gonna be like 5 horsepower probably. Looks like he has a, uh, risen hood or hood lifter, whatever the hell you wanna call it. Either way, I'm just gonna call it stupid because, I mean, it is a Honda after all. Uh, on a dyna or, or a smog machine, I guess, maybe, because let's be realistic here. Who would dyna? Can a, can a, can a Honda even move the dyno? Let's be realistic here, I doubt it. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it looks pretty cool. A-pillar gauges, probably to check his battery voltage. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Some people just, you know, build stupid cars or own stupid cars and think they're the shit. Uh, this one, 1998 Honda Civic. I mean, look at it. It's pretty, uh, meh. I mean, it just, it just looks like every other Honda Civic. Oh, Honda Civic Type R. Buddy, this, let's be real here. This, is, this isn't a Type R. Those chameleon headlights aren't fooling me, man. You're, you're not fooling anybody here. Okay, underneath the hood. Yeah, you, you, oh, look it. You're next to your, your Honda Accord buddy right there. You're next to the lawnmower. Great. Underneath the hood, I mean, it, it's so dark I can't see anything. So let's just be real here. There's probably nothing to look at underneath there. He's filling up with a, a blue handle. Don't know what that's for. Stupid, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay, here's a better shot underneath the hood. Yeah, so, I mean, this guy was was stupid and decided to, to route his cold air intake into probably what I'm guessing is that uh, oil cooler in the bumper. And then um, it's probably going to like use the exhaust gases and push it through whatever this this spinny thing is here. The yin yang spinny thing. And uh, I mean that'll probably give him like another like 5 horsepower. But let's be real here. It's a Honda Civic so there's probably no point. Um, yeah. Alright now I'm joking. Okay I wanted to see how long I can go on with that. I got tired of it myself. Uh, we got a sleeper Honda Civic here guys. It, I, I'm not stupid. I know that's not an oil cooler. It's an intercooler. Anyways, we have a boosted Honda Civic, and I kind of like this look of like the whole unassuming kind of almost ricerish vibe. I don't know if he was going for it, but when I first clicked on this post, I saw this photo and I was like, meh, I mean, whatever. And then I saw the chameleon headlights in a photo. I think it was this one. And I was like, yeah, it's just like a, a, a cheap ass ricer car. Like, I'm, I'm not really going to talk about it. But then I saw the turbo underneath the hood, and it, 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 I'm not going to lie, it got me a little bit hard. It got me a little bit aroused, and I was like, ooh. 
a little ricer sleeper build. I kind of like that. And uh, I was thinking, this would be pretty cool to do. I know I said a while ago I was, I was, I was going to do it, but looking at this build, I kind of want to do it again. Now, I don't think I can anytime soon because I have that other car coming that I have to build, but this this in the future, buying a Honda Civic and doing something like this to it, I could see it, I could see it being a thing. I like his description too. First, if you have to call your mom, GF, bank, uncles, cousins for money, don't waste my time. Don't like my price? Cool story, bruh. Now, with that being said, let the show go on. E85 Honda Civic. 1998 Civic Coupe right-hand drive converted from EK9 with all EK9 parts. So I think it's actually a left-hand drive car originally, but you can convert this. My buddy, he's a Honda guy, uh, or at least he used to be back in the day, and he said that he knew a few people that did this. Pretty much what they do is they cut out the firewall, and they throw in a right-hand drive firewall, and they just convert all of it to right-hand drive. It's weird. I don't know. I wouldn't do it, but I mean, you, you could, though. It is a thing. I don't know if you guys want to read this build, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if uh, if we had you going in the first half, but uh, this is a pretty cool looking Honda Civic here. I don't know why it says Type R though. That is uh, a little bit suspicious. Anyway, though, for ten thousand uh, dollars, I don't know. I, I would want to see at least four hundred horsepower of a Honda Civic for ten thousand dollars. Car is around three hundred. You failed. Next car, two thousand six Nissan three fifty Z Roadster, the worst three fifty ever. The Roadster, and he's asking seventeen thousand, dude. This Roadster better give me head every time I climb in for that price. Let's take a look. Carbon fiber hood, looks like a Rocket Bunny kit. Don't know if it's legit or not. Based off of that little chicken wire mesh grill, I'm going to go ahead and say no. So if he has that, then I'm assuming he has wide body. Yes, he does. Fitment is, um, well, it, I'm not going to lie. It's piss poor. It's really bad. I, I, I Probably the worst Fitment I've seen in quite some time. God, the 350Z Roadster is kind of just uh, ugly. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of convertibles and uh, this 350. I mean, I mean, it works for what it is, but I mean, it, it looks like a hairstylist car. So this looks like Deborah's car. Okay, not with the Rocket Bunny kit, but as is, it, it's Deborah's car. This is Deborah, the hairstylist. Yeah, look at that fitment, dude. Come on, man. It's disgusting. Oh, you got harnesses and a, and a steering wheel. Wow, look at you. Wow, how much horsepower are you pushing out of this 350Z? Like 200 with that automatic transmission? Wow, man, it's so fast. So fast. It's a fast car, guys. Look at fast car. The speedometer says it goes to 160. It's such a fast car, man. It's so fast. Look at my oil PSI. It's so damn fast. Oh, my God. I almost have 16 volts. It's so fast fucking fast oh oh underneath the hood that 3.5 liter v6 with that cold air fucking intake look at that shit that shit is so fast we'll get to 160 in no time no time i'm not gonna be late for my hairstylist i'm never gonna be late my, my clients they're, they're, they're priority i have to strap in with my fucking four point harness here that way i can go to my hairstylist job why am i in such a bad mood why am i like this i don't know the the, the harnesses look legit but Dude, you're you're rocking, you're rocking a cold air intake on 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 a, on a drop top 350Z, and you're gonna throw harnesses and racing seats at it? Come on, man! Just duh, stop, stop it! Just don't do this. Just don't do this. Don't don't ruin your car like this. Come on, man! It's a uh man you wasted so much money you're never gonna get back. I feel bad for you. You really you really are expecting seventeen thousand dollars too, huh? $17,000. If you get $17,000, I will eat your ass. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Comment down below which car was the worst. I think the worst car was still probably that Honda Accord, but the dumbest owner has to be the 350Z owner. I mean, $17,000. How many miles are on it? I'm guessing like a billion. So, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see me do next. Subscribe to see more videos like this one, and until next video, peace.